In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform principal component analysis. Here we are looking at data that measures protein consumption in 25 European countries from nine different food groups. Let me go ahead and highlight the entire worksheet and then click on Origin Statistics menu. In Origin 8.6, we added a multivariate analysis submenu from which I'm going to choose principal component analysis. PCA is used to reduce multiple observed variables to a smaller number of variables called principal components. I'm going to accept the defaults in the dialog and simply click OK. A report sheet is generated. If I maximize the workbook, we see this is the workbook that contains the raw data, and then we have a report sheet here. We can look at the eigenvalues of the correlation matrix. This table provides information on how many principal components to be considered. It's the principal components that account for most of the variance in the observed variables. The second column and third column display the percentage and cumulative percentage contributions from each principal component. We can see that with the first four components, close to 86% of the data is covered. Let's scroll down the report sheet and look at the scree plot. I can click on it and I can double click that will open up that embedded graph window for a larger view. Looking at this graph, you can get a visual indication on how many principal components to be considered. The fourth point can be considered the elbow point, indicating we need to consider only four primary components. Let's go ahead and close this window, return it to its parked location in the worksheet. I'm going to reopen the dialog and update my analysis results. So to do that, I scroll up and I click on, I left click on the green lock, and I choose Change Parameters, which will reopen my dialog, the PCA Statistics Analysis Dialog. We're going to modify the number of components to extract, changing this to four. And then I'm going to expand the Plots branch move the dialog up into the recording area here, and take a look at the plot types available. I'm going to leave the default settings. The component plot plots two principal components, of which we can choose from one to four. We'll go ahead and leave the defaults here, too. So it'll plot the first two primary components. So let's go ahead and click OK to close the dialog and update our analysis results. If we now look at the extracted eigenvectors table, which displays the composition of each principal component, in our case the four components, in terms of the original set of nine observed variables, which were the nine sources of protein. For PC1, the composition is mainly animal protein, our red meat, white meat, eggs, milk. The second component, PC2, is primarily fish and your fruits and vegetables. The other two components, PC3 and PC4, the separation is not so clear. Let me again scroll down and let's take a look at the loading plot. So I'm going to double click to open up this plot. We can even maximize it. The x-axis represents principal component 1 and the y-axis PC2. And as we saw in the eigenvector table, the vectors corresponding to animal protein are all closely aligned with the x-axis, and the vectors corresponding to fruits and vegetables and fish are more closely aligned with the y-axis. The other variables are more evenly distributed. Let's go ahead and close this graph, scroll down, and open up the biplot. This plot displays both the loadings and the scores for the two selected components. All 25 rows in the raw data, each representing a country, is plotted as a scatter plot, these red points here. If we double click on these, we're brought into the plot details dialog, and I can add the label for each point. So let's turn on the label and choose the label from the country. And now we have each point labeled here. We can come back in and let's decrease the font size a bit. So 
So down here, our Western European countries are clustered around this animal protein group, indicating that their primary source of protein is animal protein. Countries near the Mediterranean rely more on fish and fruits and vegetables. Your Eastern European countries rely more on cereals and nuts for their source of protein. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.